Hi everyone, it's Gail, back with another in the series of cover, um, I guess, tutorials, journal cover making videos, <laughs> whatever we want to call them. Today we're going to play a little bit, um, we're going to do some paint, uh, a little bit of painting. I also want to do a few things with the 9 by 12 envelopes that have come up um from various of my viewers. So we're just going to play a little bit and get a little messy. I've kind of got a disaster on my desk from my video yesterday. I still have all that stuff sitting over here. So I'm probably a disaster waiting to happen today, but we're going to jump in anyway. So what I have is um, these are canvas pieces. And this was from a gigantic banner I guess you would call it um it we found it <laughs> in the basement of the college that I worked at it was I suppose well before um plastic banners and it said I don't know welcome Carroll College students or something and um <clears throat> it's all done in I think acrylic paints and I want to cover it up with gesso because I want to reuse this. So I'm just, I'm going to see what happens. So I've cut this one in, um, it is nine, it's a nine by 12. So it'll make a nine by six journal like so. Um, this one's kind of fun because it's got a patch. It's got patches sewn on it which is kind of cool so I have that one and then what I did is I measured nine by 15 I do believe so what I was thinking for this one is I was thinking I would do like um nine by six journal in it like so but then I would have this wrap over the top as like a little closure type of deal. <laughs> That's my idea anyway. I've not I've not done it before. So, you know, I, I jump right in with you guys and try things that I haven't tried before either. So I think these, I did do one journal uh, like this. I did it for my daughter's uh, mother-in-law and it was kind of a hiking journal. It was like a field notes journal type of, of thing that I figured with the tough um, canvas, she could just throw it in her backpack and, and be good. So we're going to start off preparing these. My thought is just to gesso them up, I think, is what we need to do. So... Um, I've been asked about my gesso. This is just a cheap brand from Walmart. That's all it is. Um, it was very inexpensive and it's lasted me years, literally years. Oh, that ought to be enough. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's, let's get started and see what we can do to kind of cover up this, this lettering. So, this is another little patch here. I don't know if it's going to stay on there. I might have to, I might have to sew that a little bit too. <clears throat> so yeah, lots of um, lots of fun questions and suggestions on the uh, the nine by twelve envelope covers. So I thought we might have a little play with those too. Um, and so we'll we'll get these get these going in the right direction. Now I'm just gonna kind of brush a little bit where it's I don't care for it to be completely covered up where it's just canvas, but where the writing is, I don't want that. And I'm wondering if we might have to make this the outside and I could like decoupage or something over where, where the letters were. Recycling at its best, right? Just, we'll just try and make this, try and make this into something. I feel like the one that I did for my daughter's mother-in-law may have been, um, 
on the edge of the banner and didn't have any writing because I don't remember doing this, but but I think this is gonna I think this is gonna work. And um and yeah, we could like decoupage a napkin on it or something. But I thought I would get it painted so maybe by the end of our hour together it would be somewhat dry and we could figure out where to go from there you know okay yeah I think we're gonna have to probably probably do some decoupaging on it now this side which is just the canvas I'd sort of like to um just almost like dry brush. Wonder if I have yep, I do have quite a bit on my brush. But um but yeah. So just another what would I say? Oh. Just another um sort of medium to use for a cover. Um, you know, when you focus on it, when you think, what could I do for covers? Yeah, a lot of things do come to mind. So it's just, it's kind of fun just to experiment and I'm really doing my best not to get a big old glop on this side because I really wanted it to be more here and there. on that side okay so this side ooh that's pretty <laughs> okay I wonder if I can glop some more on especially those black lines because if we cover it up with decoupage my theory at least is that it should be okay I hope so. I hope I have room on my table to set this to dry. <laughs> I've I'm kind of in a mess. I've got I've got too many projects going at once is my deal. But you know, it's like oh this would be fun and that would be fun and oh how about I film that? <laughs> And then, um, and then we're going to have some fun. I, I tell you, this is, it's not going to be all just this, <laughs> this video, hopefully, hopefully it will be more entertaining, but, um, I had another one of those nights last night where I had a little trouble sleeping, you know, um, I'm filming this ahead so you won't see it in a while, but I, I went back and forth in my head if I wanted to say anything today, but I think I do, which is um, the day that I filmed this is the day after some, hang on, I'll finish the story in a minute. I'm going to go get some more wax paper because I think I need to just leave that on the wax paper. That way it will be able to dry and I don't know. We'll just see. We'll see how we do, huh? Um I don't know. Do you feel like I feel like I need to put some more in between the lines too? So just kind of not make that stand out so much. Okay, we're going to let that dry and see what we get. And then perhaps we can play with it. I don't know. And if it doesn't dry, I'll do a part two. How's that? Okay, we're just going to set that up here. 
and hope that it doesn't get on everything. Okay, so let's let's quickly do this one and then and then I will tell you what I was philosophizing about that was keeping me awake last night. And really, I really didn't know if I wanted to say anything today or not, but I do, I think. So the day that I'm doing this is the day after the second um, mass shooting in America. And I couldn't sleep last night. I told my husband, I think it's a matter of kind of the collective consciousness and just being so incredibly sad about what is going on in this country. And um, I don't want to get into politics because everybody's got their own opinion on that. And um, you certainly don't need to hear mine because, you know, it's just my opinion. And you're welcome to yours, too. That's, that's a great thing about America, right? Um, but we have got to figure this out. We've got to. I mean, if people can't go get their groceries and feel safe, I mean, what the heck? <sighs> it just, it just hurts my soul. It really, it really, really does. And, um, it was kind of interesting though, this morning, as I was still kind of pondering it all and whether to talk to you guys about it or not, or, or what, I mean, I feel like we're friends, and so I would certainly talk to my friends about it. So that was part of the thing. I thought, well, you know, um, I am in my happy place, and that that's that is a good thing. <laughs> but so funny this morning because um, in the paper was one of those little supplement things, you know, and it was about is it about. Ah, oh, gosh, I can't think of her name. Anyway, she uh, is a news reporter. And she was talking about how she deals with all the yucky things that she sees in or has seen in her life in her reporting. And, um, and she says she takes action. She tries to, she tries to uh, deal with the the bad stuff by trying to put good in the world and I love that and I kind of felt like it was a god wink to say go ahead and talk about it Gail but also say that you know my my crafting makes me happy being with you guys makes me happy and I hope that it being along with my little crafting journey and and watching my videos I really hope that it brings some joy to your life and some kindness as I said to one of my subbies you know kindness compassion joy empathy those kind of things I feel like they're in a little bit of short supply we've forgotten how important they are and, um, <laughs> yikes. um, and, and we, we can't do that. We can't forget that what we say goes to people's hearts. So when we're a jerk on YouTube, which there are those, I can tell you that firsthand, it, it, it hurts somebody's heart. You know, we are not an island. We are all inter interdependent on each other. And what what we say and do affects others. I mean, I am very far removed uh, geographically from those shootings, but I couldn't sleep last night. I'm sorry. I am in my happy place, but I'll tell you what, it's all just, it's, uh, I keep thinking about that two week old baby who lost his mother in, in Walmart 
And, you know, by the grace of God that dad wasn't with her or that baby wouldn't have anybody, you know, it's just, wow, sorry, didn't really, didn't really mean this to turn into this, but I guess it is what it is. And I did just want to thank you all for being so kind and so supportive and the wonderful people that you are. I feel like I have a whole world of friends and I'm so incredibly, incredibly grateful for that. Um, I just, I just really want us to figure this out because, and it's not just America. I know that. I mean, there's, it's happened in Paris. It's happened all over the place. So uh, we just need to figure it out. So anyway, that's, that will be the end of that. But I just wanted to thank you all for being so kind and, and for being here and allowing me to share my happy place and my happiness <laughs> with you guys, which is, which is normally on a bigger scale than it is right now. I just, um, I don't know, this has really affected me. It affects me every time. Um, I mean, this year, my grandkids were locked down in their schools in Denver again because of somebody going off shift and I don't know. I have my thoughts. I mean, I really feel like we need to put our monies where our mouth is as far as mental health. We need to, we need to be funding mental health, um, way more than we are. I do think that would help. But, um, okay. So anyways, we're done painting that. So that one I'm going to set aside to dry. And I'm going to get some more wax paper. I'm going to dry my tears <laughs> and we're going to get on with it. We're going to get on with it. So I'm considering today, yet again, I swear to goodness, I think I'm addicted to, um, to the, uh, tub method of coffee dyeing. I think I'm gonna do some more. I have, I, I want to, I was thinking I wanted to make up some packets for, um, for my gals that are at my retreat, you know, even though it's not until <laughs> for like, I don't know how many months till May. <laughs> it's a long time. Okay. I'm going to, um, get this glued down. And then I think what we're going to do is I was wondering if I need to gesso it. I don't know if I do. I'm going to try it without. So here's the idea that one of, well, several of my subbies said, what if you um, painted painted the envelope before putting on um, whatever you decoupage it with? So I've got this pink here, super cheap acrylic paint. And I think I'm going to put it under and then put this on top. Now, see how the yellow kind of shows through? Let's just see what happens if we paint it... Um, paint it pink. I'm not going to wash out my brush or anything. Bless you, honey. My husband just sneezed. <laughs> let's just, let's just paint this and see what happens. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But I love to get messy and painty. So this, this works for me. Yeah, I don't think we need gesso, so I'm going to get it out of our way a little bit. And I'm just slopping it on, as you can see, not being very precise about it at all. So um, I think this will dry too, and we can give that a try. But I had some other ideas for this that I thought we'd maybe do too. 
I'm going to have so many covers that I'm going to have to make a cover for years. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Sometimes it's like uh, several of you have said that the cover is the hardest part. Sometimes if you just have the cover, you can just go from there. Um, one of the gals said to me that she said to you, um, what's your inspiration? Do you, are you inspired by the cover or the, or the insides or the theme or whatever? And I said, it's kind of, it's kind of both actually. Ooh, there's the phone. Maybe our van is done. Did I tell you our van is in the shop? I think I did. Okay, this is going to goober it up a little bit, but I'm going to do this side. Um, and then we'll straighten it out maybe just a little down the sides so that Yeah, my husband just got a call, so maybe that's it. Yeah, they sent us the estimate. Oh. <laughs> oh, shoot. But our car is like 16 years old, so I guess it was only a matter of time and it's been so good. It's like this is the first big repair I think we've ever had on it. I have a um it's a Honda Odyssey van. I love it. And um you know, it's got a lot of miles on it. We put lots of miles on it with our kids' sports and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's okay. All right, so I'm going to set that aside to dry. So I think we're done painting. That was fun, huh? Okay, let me put this jar up here. You might notice I don't have my uh, little cup of water <laughs> because yesterday was a bit of a disaster. But I will tell you that the lace is just fine. <laughs> that happened to fall in. Okay, I'm going to set this over here to dry. And we'll save this one. Um, let's see. So my, I have some more things that I thought I might like to make into, into covers, but, um, I wanted to try napkin too, because that was another thing people asked about was what about napkin? So let me grab my tape, which was over on the other table. Cause I was doing Etsy orders. Thank you. Everybody who's made Etsy orders. Okay, so let me get another. I'm going to have to restock on my envelopes. I'm I'm just so busy getting them all. Okay. Um Mod Podge. Okay, let's take off before we get Mod Podge going. We better take off the layers of the napkin. came off in one fell swoop, didn't it? wonder if I can use the same piece of tape. Waste not, want not. <laughs> so. So, I'm not sure, but I think that this uh, video is going to load on my birthday. I think so. I think it's be August 9th, um, which is, I believe, Friday. Um, today is just Monday in real life. But I've got a couple of um, I've got a couple of days ahead because uh, my husband said, you know, it'd be good if you went a couple days ahead because then if we want to do something spur of the moment. He said, I won't feel like I'm messing up your <laughs> your video life. It's like, oh, I would still go. It would be okay. My my peeps would understand. But um yeah, okay. So I'm gonna just 
get our little tab thing glued down. My paintbrush, I thought I washed it out good, but it's a little stiff from last time. So, whoops. <laughs> it will. Okay. Okay, so there's that. Now, what I picked was this sort of all over pattern because a one napkin isn't really big enough. And my thought is with it um, that, you know, on most napkins, like this part would be upside down, you know, if it's like a scene here and a scene here and a scene here and a scene here, this would be upside down. So I picked an all over pattern, all that to say. So I don't know. I don't know. I haven't. I have done napkin covers on little mini journals. I haven't done one on um, a big one like this. So let's just see how it goes. It was great though to have all the input on different ideas and what ifs and stuff because yeah, then it just gives me, okay, I'm, I'm doing this so that hopefully there's a little yeah, there's going to be a little bit of texture, but not too much. That was the other thing. Everybody was like, you should scrunch the paper. Well, I did do that later on in the video. You were telling on yourselves that you didn't watch the whole video. <laughs> and uh, um, it just gives it a different, if you scrunch it like I just did, rather than wadding up the napkin first, it just gives it a different look. Um it sounds weird, but the, uh, like the wrinkles are calmer, kind of, if that makes any sense. Not really, I suppose, but it's just, um, it's just not as busy with texture. Ooh, I think this is going to be real pretty, guys. Um, so yeah, uh. It's just kind of the look you're going for, really, is what it is. But, gosh, I had to laugh. So I said to everybody who said that, well, later on the video, I did scrunch. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You don't have to watch my old video. <laughs> oh, just tore it. Therein lies the difference between napkins and and tissue is tissues tougher okay so i just tore that so i'm gonna have to give that a little patch which that's another plus for kind of this all over pattern i think is if you do rip it and you do patch it it's not going to be so noticeable Okay, um, I got to get under that edge a little bit more. Okay, and then I just need Sloppy. <laughs> Sloppy this morning. Okay, I'm a little worried about how this is gonna um this is gonna stick and tear. But on the edges here. I'm going to be super gentle pulling it back up. Ah, yep, there we did. Ah, there we did. 
So let's just say this experiment tells me that, oops, tissue paper is just a lot easier to work with. If, if you had, um, if you had a napkin that would fill the whole space, I think it would be different. Okay, so I'm going to set that up to dry because like on the tissue paper, we could just turn it over and it'd be fine, but the napkin's going to tear. So let's set that up here and let that dry for a little bit. And we'll keep the napkin handy because we are going to have to patch it up a little, I'm afraid. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to try. <laughs> yes, we've created a monster. I'm just, I'm just having way too much fun with this. Um, but, you know, the manila envelopes aren't that expensive. So it's a fun thing to play with. Um, another thing people said was, you know, I have the manila envelopes. They were saying you can get them in white. And maybe that would be good for certain patterns, you know, which that's true. That's true. So our pink one is getting there on being dry for us to try that. But let's do something else first. So what I wanted to do was I have some rice paper. And like, look at this rice paper. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. I don't think can I fit. Oh, I can fit it that way. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do before I get it all full of stuff is I'm going to cut it to size. And I'm going to need some scissors for that. My other scissors are on the other table. I was doing Etsy orders and then I got to cut in the canvas and I'm all over the place. <laughs> so let's see how this works. And just for those of you that want me to scrunch, I'm just going to gently, I'm just going to gently scrunch it. We'll go with that. Okay. I wanted this big, pretty rose here on the on the front cover, which will be this side. Just go ahead and do, yeah, this side. Okay, let's do this one. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really just try and slot this on. Um, yeah, so, uh, Did a little, did a little uh, rice paper looking too. I haven't used it in a while, and I was like, "Oh, I gotta remember that. That's uh, that's over there." I took it off my desk, and so it's not always kind of you know right where I can see it. <laughs> so how much do I have? Not a lot to work with. So. And rice paper is going to be a lot tougher than napkin, too. So that's good. So there's a little texture to it. Not super, super much, but it's good. It's good. And then, of course, I mean, this is like first layer, right? Because we can then go in and decorate the front in whatever way goes with whatever journal we're doing. This one I think will lend itself nicely to like a shabby chic journal. And I do like the yellow behind. I think it makes it look really kind of um, vintagey. And I will no doubt do some distressing around the edges of this one. I can see it already. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Did I hit you? I, I think I did. Always need to make sure I didn't knock you off kilter completely. Um, 
yeah so rice paper paper sacks you know do the faux front or faux, faux uh, leather nicely um yeah there's just there's just a lot of a lot of options Good to go there. Okay, so now we're going to do the edges again, just at a slight angle. So I have a new spot on my shelf for all the for all of the covers we've been making. Now I just gotta I gotta get some guts done. <laughs> God, the covers need the guts. So we were going to go to the movie today, and then we decided not to. Too much going on. Waiting for him to call on the car and getting ready for grandkids again and stuff. So we decided to skip it. We'll get there one of these days. <clears throat> And, you know, we don't need to necessarily get there on senior day because we get the senior discount whenever we go. Because <laughs> we're old. So I'm just going to pop that up there. These are pretty quick, aren't they? Yeah, they go pretty fast. It's good. I would have liked to have had a little more edge, but it'll be fine. We'll just cover it up with a piece of paper or fabric or something. Yeah, rice paper is going to be great for this too. I have one more piece of rice paper and I think we're going to do that because um, I also want to put another piece of rice paper on as an embellishment that I found. So, okay, let's go ahead and Mod Podge over the top here and we'll Mod Podge over the top on the other side too, but I might not do that in camera because... That's something I can do when you're not with me. Once again, I'm trying to get the white out of the cracks of the of the texture just so that it's So that it stays clear. The Mod Podge stays clear then and it doesn't, doesn't make white goopies. We don't want white goopies. Cool. Okay, so we have that one done. All right, so let's see if our pink one, before we do... Another rice paper. So that's that one. That's going to be super pretty, isn't it? And some distress ink over that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm running out of places to draw. Okay. Let's pull this over. Set that there. Okay. <clears throat> so, you guys, one of these days, I'm going to get back to the... Um, paper pad project too. I just saw that paper pad over there. I'm like, oh yeah, I need to do that. It's not easy to use a paper pad, let me just say. Okay, so we are going to use this tissue paper on this. 
and I think it's a, I think it's a great size for this. So let's just lay it out, and we'll just cut it down to size a little bit. Yep, that's just gonna be great. So I'm just gonna give it a cut across the bottom. Sorry, I'm probably off camera, but don't have room for the whole piece of paper on camera but I was just cutting it no big deal <laughs> didn't miss much okay and then and then we, these we can use on envelopes or something I'm going to stick them in my tissue bag which oh my gosh I need to do some projects with that that's for sure Okay, so what are we thinking? Scrunch or no scrunch? Let's just scrunch. To be honest, the scrunching is easier, but it really does give it a lot of pattern, whereas otherwise you just get kind of some cracks and creases. So let's see. So let's let's get out. Oh yeah. So let's get out another envelope just so you can see I'll put this one on this half so before we painted it would have kind of had that yellow behind it which I don't mind because I think it makes it look vintagey but look at the difference then with the pink behind it just makes it more pink so yes whoever said that several of you can you paint your envelope yes you can we just did it so now we are going to Mod Podge it and layer down the um, brush drags a bit more on the acrylic paint than it does on the plain envelope only difference I really found so far. There's a little glue goober that we don't necessarily want. Okay. So there is that. Get it right side up would be good. That's pretty good. Yeah, you can really see the pink once it's Mod Podge. <clears throat> so fun to do some experimenting. Thank you for all of your comments always. First of all, I love to read them. And, um, and I just, I love all you guys' ideas and stuff. You come up with lots of great ideas. Okay. I'm going to have to probably get myself some more Mod Podge at the rate I'm going. I've just really been, <laughs> been going through it on these covers. But that's good. So in upcoming journals, I'll be saying, so remember we made this cover in, <laughs> in the journal cover series. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Okay. Pull it up. And we need to cut our edges as usual. Goodness, my nose is uh, stuffed up probably from crying. Oh my goodness, Gail. Okay, 
So let us do the edges. I hope the other thing this is showing you is really how quickly you can get a pretty good store of, of covers made. And, um, you know, when I, when I first started this series, a couple people said, oh, I'm so glad you're doing covers because covers kind of stymie me, you know, and, um, really I I understand that so I, uh, sometimes that's true for me too it's like I know what I want to do on the beautiful inside of the book with the pretty papers and stuff but sometimes it's hard to know what to do as far as a cover but but you know this way like say we were doing a um a, des a design team project for a digital designer, then, um, you know, possibly there'll be a really cool piece of ephemera or something that you can then make the focal point on the front of your cover. And so that's great. Okay, so that is what it looks like. Oh my, I think that is lovely. Yep. So painting the envelope is a great idea. Great idea. I'm going to quick like do this and then we're going to do another rice paper one and use a couple rice papers because I may use that cover for my next journal is what I'm thinking. I mean, happens to Betsy, I've got a lot of choices <laughs> for, jour for journal covers now, but... Um, but I think, I think that that one might be the one. Um, another question I had was about where do you get your tissue papers? And um, some I have gotten in Happy Mail, so I'm not sure exactly where they came from. The burlap one, for instance. But I think Char um, commented on one of the last videos that she did find some burlap on Amazon. So that was good. Burlap uh, tissue paper. Okay, we're going to set that aside to dry somewhere. That is yet to be determined where. <laughs> okay. And our gesso is not dry. I think we're going to have to do another episode with that. Um, let's see. We want a different piece of paper just because I don't want pink. There's any of the paint that's not dry. Okay, so this is this one. Um, What was I saying? Oh, where to get tissue paper. So I look at the dollar store. I I look wherever I go. Hallmark, the dollar store. Um, World Market sometimes has some neat tissue paper. I think I got, I might have gotten this there at World Market. Yeah, so um, I just look wherever I go and pick it up when I see something that speaks to me. So, kind of the idea with that. Okay, so here is, this is the rice paper I want to use. And yes, I think it's going to be, be wide enough and everything. Okay. So we need to give it a little cut though, don't we? Yeah, this is this is kind of great to cut. It's got lines. Okay, still have a little bit that of that to play with. Okay, so let's do this thing. I'm gonna scrunch it. This is Stamperia rice paper, and 
there are various sellers on Etsy for um, Stamperia rice paper. So I think if you just if you just uh, search it, you can probably find a good a good seller for the Stamperia. I've gotten mine at various sellers as well. Just just whoever happens to have what I'm looking for. Um, and uh, yeah, so just mod podging away. Somebody, one of one of my subbies too said, "I am I weird? I love the smell of mod podge," and I'm like, "No, you're not weird, because I love it too." <laughs> or maybe we're both weird. That could be. <laughs> that could be. I'm just making sure that's straight since the this one has lines in it. We don't want it to not be not be straight. Okay, I like the like the manila under it because yet again it makes it look vintagey. And so I think that will be just fine. So I think I, this was kind of a hodgepodge with the um, canvas, but I'm glad we got a start on that because now the next time we can work on that. So my thought is probably to decoupage some napkin here and there on it, not, not cover the whole of the canvas, but here and there, I think that would be good. And so, and so, yeah, that'll be a fun thing to do next. Whether or not that will be today, I don't know. I really should get my craft room cleaned up because my granddaughters are coming. So they have room to work. If they have a little bit of energy left after their volleyball playing. <laughs> okay. So this is rather plain, as you can tell. And so that's why I am thinking I want to do another piece of rice paper over the top. So we'll get this stuck down, but we might not um, Mod Podge over the top of it until we can play with the front a little bit. Okay, so let's get that squished down. It's getting towards lunchtime. I'm getting hungry. Although I got up late today because I didn't sleep well, so... I ended up sleeping well this morning, though, so that was good. Oops. They're resurfacing the street out in front of our house. And so a few mornings, that's been kind of an issue. <laughs> but not today. They weren't they're probably at the other end of the street or something today. But they've got it really torn up, so I'm hoping they get onto it and get her done because it's kind of, it's hard on your car, you know? You're kind of bump, bump, bumping along on the uneven pavement because they've dug out the asphalt, so 
um, yeah, not great on the old, I don't know what. <laughs> there, okay, so we won't do the top of this just yet. Let that, let that be, and I'm just going to flip it over. So that it's right side up. <laughs> and this, look at this one. Isn't that pretty? And I'm thinking about putting that somewhere on the front. So, I don't know if I have water in my water pen. Um, let's see. I need more room here. I need more room. You scoot over there. Okay, so water pen. Where are you? Oh, it does have water in it. Yay. Okay. So, how much of this? Gotta kind of measure to see what that's gonna be like. Maybe about right there. I want it to be jiggy jaggy. Funny, it's not really necessarily going on my. I don't know. I'll set that up there. Um, and of course, I don't want this to be. Straight. So I'm going to put those little bits in my bit box because. They are good. Good little bits. Ah. Come on. Real tough strand right there. side. Okay. I think that'll be good. figure out placement here. Okay, I think I'll put that there and then down here can be something else. has a bit of a different feel to it because I didn't scrunch it. Of 
course, we'll go over the top of that. But what I'm wondering is, what do we want on the back? I'm almost thinking, could we do that on the back? I don't want the Stamperia, even though I love your paper, Stamperia. I just didn't want you right there. And then I could put that right along the edge. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. And I don't know that I'm done. I really like having the numbers and stuff as the background, though. I think that's kind of cool. Sorry, hit you with my head again. Goodness sakes. Big old head. Got this big old head <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay, let's get you right down there. Okay, that's nice, but you know how I like to work in threes. I really like this, too. I actually am liking tearing this without the water better. How's that for kind of crazy? Kind of wondering if I want that right there. Sorry, I got kind of quiet there. I'm thinking sometimes there's just a really hard fiber in. Yep, I think that's what I'm going to do. And keep in mind there will be who knows what lace or fabric or whatever else on this. But just kind of getting the basis going. And what's, what's looking good to me in the moment. And then I think we might have to call this a video. I have no idea what the time is. <laughs> that was another comment I got. When you check the time, I check the time too. <laughs> Good. I'm glad we're both on it. <laughs> and then was it my little pal Debbie? She said, how about a two or three hour video? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you imagine how long that would take to upload? Yeah. It'd be my next birthday <laughs> by the time that thing uploaded. <laughs> oh. But I appreciated the sentiment very much. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what else we're going to do on this, but... You'll be, I think you'll be seeing this one soon because I think this is what I'm going to use for my Tracy Fox design team project. I think it might be what I use. Just giving the whole rest of the cover a little bit of coverage with the Mod Podge. Make it all tough. And then, yeah, this one will get distressed around the edges for sure. And... Um, yeah, but let it dry. We'll let it dry. I'll go eat some lunch. Oh, life is good. <laughs> okay. Okay, my wonderful friends. We're going to call that good. Um, oh yeah, we're over an hour. We're over an hour. Okay, well, I will, I will come back. I don't know when. 
but I will come back with those canvas covers and we will work on those a bit more. So thank you everyone so much for watching and thanks thanks for listening to my my sadness. <laughs> and um, I hope you all have a really good day. Have fun in your craft room. Be kind to each other and we'll just see you next time. Bye-bye.